a thoracic surgeon, uh, intensive care physician, um, and scientist. Uh, and really, I was unhappy with the way our increasing uh, knowledge and understanding in basic science was not leading to significant uh, uh, improvements in care in, in uh, critically ill patients. I became interested in the science of complexity uh, and wanted to explore a technology that could track the properties of complex systems. Um, I discovered the uh, science of, uh, or, uh, of, of variability analysis and uh, hypothesized that it would be enormously useful for critically ill patients. Um, I realized that in order to uh, bring a meaningful improvement to patient care, I, uh, there needed to be a commercialization component to the scientific innovation. Uh, in other words, you need to bring a, pro a product to bedside to improve patient care. Uh, I founded therapeutic monitoring systems uh, uh, at that time. We believe that TMS has the capacity to improve patient care by providing earlier detection of critical illness, uh, better determination of its severity, determination of whether it's getting better or getting worse. Uh, so it, uh, it's what we call real-time prognostication. And um, uh, we believe in the future that uh, variability analysis has the capacity to direct care. Uh, our pilot studies have demonstrated that uh, early detection of infection uh, is possible uh, with continuous variability analysis, uh, better prediction of uh, extubation failure uh, is, a, is possible, uh, um, uh, and better determination of severity of illness in critically ill patients. We make software that uh, can be integrated into any monitoring uh, hardware uh, device in an ICU. Uh, we uh, want to be at the forefront of uh, or leading the world in uh, terms of continuous multi-organ variability analysis. That could be integrated into a bedside monitor, into a remote uh, a telemedicine monitor, into a, uh, a wireless uh, device uh, for home, uh, patients at home. Uh, uh, and uh, so we plan to license our technology to uh, various hardware uh, manufacturers, uh, uh, whether it be in the ICU uh, or the ward or at home. I have been um, pleasantly surprised at the degree of passion and interest in uh, uh, those who want to support this. Uh, uh, it is, I have noted uh, an incredibly supportive environment uh, in Ottawa and uh, in Toronto uh, through the, uh, 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 the MARS organization uh, uh, and others. Uh, there is a great willingness and interest in supporting uh, innovation that has the potential for real commercialization.